Maxwell. One day in Germany, five years before the start of the 20th century in 1895, a 16-year-old boy imagined himself chasing an extremely fast beam of light. His thought will eventually change the world forever. A teenager by the name of Albert Einstein used this beam of light to propagate the greatest theory in mankind, the theory of relativity. The theory of relativity became the key to the secrets of the universe, a completely new perspective on how we perceive the vast universe. The term relativity theory could seem daunting to some of you, but by the conclusion of this video, we will make sure that you fully understand the theory that transformed the course of mankind. Sir Isaac Newton and James Clark Maxwell Before diving into Einstein's theory of relativity, we must look at the two famous physicists who greatly influenced Einstein's work, James Clark Maxwell and his law of electromagnetism, and Einstein's idol Sir Isaac Newton with his laws of motion. Let's start with Sir Isaac Newton, one of the greatest scientists of all time. One of the classic stories surrounding Newton is how he discovered gravity. On a fine afternoon in 1666, Isaac Newton was resting by a tree when he observed an apple falling from a tree. Now, this aroused thoughts in his brain. Why is the fruit not falling sideways or in any other direction? If the apple falls, does it indicate that the moon and other larger heavenly creatures in the sky also fall too? These thoughts led him to establish the law of gravity, which states that everything in the universe enacts its own force of attraction on another object. This explains that humans are pulled by the gravity of the Earth, or why the moon is orbiting the Earth, and why the planets are orbiting the enormous sun. Now, this law of gravity became a foundation on what Newton published 21 years after in 1687, the groundbreaking three laws of motion which also became the cornerstone of countless hypotheses for generations to come, including Einstein's theory of relativity. One of the fundamentals of Newton's laws is the concept of relative velocity. It claims that velocities are never absolute, that their magnitudes are always with respect to something else. For example, imagine you are not moving and you observe a car at a velocity of 40 miles per hour. The same car only travels 20 miles per hour with respect to another car that is moving at 20 miles per hour in the same direction or it travels 60 miles per hour with respect to a car that is moving 20 miles per hour in the opposite direction. It is always relative. This is also true for the velocities of the Earth, the Moon, the Sun, and the entire universe. On the other hand, physicist James Clark Maxwell pointed out that the speed of an electromagnetic wave, such as light, is fixed. It is always constant regardless of who observes it. Now, Einstein analyzed these two ideas and believed that these two concepts are incompatible with each other. If Newton's law is truly universal, why is the speed of light an exception? Why is it in contrast? Albert Einstein had to make a difficult decision. Either Newton's law is incomplete, or the speed of light is not absolutely constant. This decision prompted Einstein to discover an incredible theory that was way ahead of his time, special relativity. Einstein's brilliant idea of special relativity. One of the things you need to know about the genius Albert Einstein is that his thought process is out of this world. Most of his experiments were only inside his head. Yes, you heard that right. Because of the limited technology back then, Einstein relied on conducting experiments in his mind, calculating every potential scenario using his impeccable knowledge and imagination. One of his thinking experiments led to the monumental special relativity theory. Einstein pictured himself standing on a railway platform as two lightning bolts hit him on both his sides. Because he was in the very center of the strikes, he imagined that the light would reach him at the same time. But things become more complex if the lightning strikes are observed by a person inside a moving train. According to the relativity suggested by Newton, we can assume that the person inside the train would see the lightning that is closer to her first. The measurement of the speed of light by Einstein and the person inside the train will then differ in magnitude, thus violating Maxwell's assumption that the speed of light is always constant. 
Now, Einstein realized that the two equations of Newton and Maxwell could coexist with a small tweak in Newton's laws. Remember the formula used to calculate a travel distance from physics class? It is simply speed multiplied by time, right? Let's say the speed in this formula is the speed of light, but the speed of light is proven to be constant. So, to compute the distance, there is just one remaining variable that is subject to change, time. Newton believed that time is moving unyieldingly in one single direction, forward. But Einstein contradicted this hypothesis and stated that time could stretch and contract varying with velocity. He called this time dilation. Imagine you are inside a spaceship and your friend is staring at the spaceship from the outside while not moving. You are holding a flashlight and direct it upwards. When you turn on the flashlight while the spaceship is at rest, you and your friend observe that the light is in a straight line. The wave of the light will travel in a straight path. The case is different when the spaceship moves at the speed of light. Now the light will not travel in a straight line, but it will keep up with the spaceship's speed, thereby traveling a greater distance. Considering the formula stated earlier, the speed of light will be equal to distance traveled by time, and if the speed of light is constant, the distance traveled by time changes. If the speed gets higher, time gets slower. It indicates that time itself will change. It will always be relative. With this theory, Einstein continued and claimed that since time is not constant and it expands, it deserves its own dimension. He claimed that together with the three dimensions of space, x, y, and z, time is the fourth dimension. All four combined, becoming the space-time model that gave birth to another miraculous theory. The theory that pulls everything together, general relativity. In 1905, Einstein published its special relativity to the public, but it lacks one mysterious component that scientists those days did not fully understand, gravity. Upon recognizing that time is not constant, Einstein hypothesized a fourth dimensional fabric, or continuum, upon which all the events of the universe unfold, space-time. Einstein stated that extremely massive objects like our Sun do not pull on other bodies like the Earth due to an inexplicable time, but instead create a curvature in the fabric of space-time around them, forcing other bodies to tumble down slowly in a steep valley. Sounds confusing? Well, think about it this way. Imagine a trampoline. On the trampoline, you put a bowling ball. Now, examine what happens to the trampoline. It stretches and creates a curve. This is what happens exactly with space-time when a large object like the sun is present. Now, imagine another object. Let's say a small marble. If a marble is placed on the trampoline with the bowling ball, the marble would immediately roll towards the bowling ball. This explains the pull between bodies in the universe. This is also true for our planet. Earth's gravity grows more powerful as we approach the center where the curvature in space-time is at its maximum. Therefore, the marble, or any object that falls towards the Earth, accelerates as it races towards the center of the planet. Now, special relativity taught us that the higher the speed, the slower you move through time, which indicates that at the heart of the Earth, time passes differently compared to time in Earth's atmosphere. Though it is minuscule, the time on the International Space Station, for example, is faster by a modest 0.007 seconds every six months compared to where you are now, on the surface of the Earth. Einstein revealed a single unifying thought that changed space science forever. Time is relative.